What are we going to be building today? We are going to be building this. What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in your life with Ark Building Evolved, Episode 4. And I gotta say, I'm excited to be back, guys. Uh, the love is real on this one, sitting at 49 likes on Episode 3, which is unbelievable. Uh, I got scared for a minute this morning, guys. I thought I lost this place. I thought I lost the whole thing. I had to create a brand new character. I don't know why, and I came back here, and this was here. And I had to take the place over with admin commands. So, this doppelganger... I think we'll probably live on this deck for a while. We'll see. Um, I look pretty much the same, as you can tell. Uh, I thought I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought I might get over here and the whole world had been reset for some reason. So uh, this is the mountain cabin. We built this last episode. And guys, if you're brand new, this is a creative building series. Tried out a bunch of cool ideas and ended up with this. Uh, glass walls with this wood on the outside. It feels enclosed, so you feel a little safer if you're standing back. But if you get right up close, dang, you have a crazy view. So, uh, and it feels like a greenhouse almost inside. It feels super glass, um, even though we got wood on this first floor. So I like it a lot. And um, what else was I going to tell you guys right out the, the bat? Oh, I'm excited. Today's shout out is fantastic. I get to shout out Timmy Carbine. Um, so the way my Patreon is set up, guys, for anybody that supports the channel, I mention you in a video. It's called the Patron Shoutout, and today I get to do it for an awesome builder. If you guys don't already watch Timmy Carbine's stuff, go start with the Arc Remastered series. Um, I'm lucky enough to have that guy as a patron and support from a lot of YouTubers, to be honest, and I'm lucky enough to support him as well. So, I uh, hope he sticks around and I get to mention Timmy again in the future, but this is our place, guys. I've made some changes. I'll, I'll show you this in a sec, but I moved our, our project wall out here. So, uh... We've got, uh, here, let me turn off the HUD. We built the mountain cabin. Uh, we built my uncle's house just over there. We'll go by that in a sec. Uh, the mountain cabin part two, and today we're working on an elk barn. So time to get down to business. Uh, we're gonna head out this back door. You guys will see I built a little veranda back here. That's where I started. I uh, used the metal railings and kept it out of stone because the idea is to get down to this main floor here. So uh, we've got our main floor entrance and uh, if you come on over here, this is probably how I'll be getting in and out. That's where the torch is. I may build a little garage for my bear here. How adorable. Uh, but we're going to get down to business. We're going to start building. And um, I'm going to try and keep this one shorter, guys. Last episode was 30-something minutes. A few people loved it. They said they just sat back, chilled, listened to the whatever music I got on in the background, and just... Uh, and just watched me build, which was awesome. But some people did complain. They said it was a little too long, so I'm gonna try and keep this one shorter. We're starting with a bear barn, guys, and I wanna be humble. So I'd worked out a shape, and I actually thought I was recording already, and I took down my preliminary shape. So we're gonna have to do that together, uh, but uh, I think we're gonna do it with adobe and wood. Um, and what I want is, is for there to be almost like a, a pass-through, where it's gonna be open right here in the middle, uh, and you're gonna have a section here, you're going to have a section here, and then you're going to have a, a big part suspended over top. So it'll be like a stable. You can walk in, you can walk out the far end, and there'll be little stalls along the side. So I had the design laid out, and um, I think we're going to continue to work on it. Um, but I want to show you something cool I've been trying out. So I always try and come up with new things, and pardon the blizzard, but... Um, we're going to be working with Adobe today, and I've been doing this. So I don't know when we actually build the barn, it probably won't look quite so busy. There won't be pillars at every intersection, and there won't be fence foundations at every level. But look at that. We've got fence foundation with an inside-out wooden wall with another fence foundation with an inside-out wooden wall. And so I've worked out the technique for this. And I think I've got, if we go ahead and turn the HUD on, uh, I think I've got everything we need to get started. All right, guys. So I... I'm tweaking this as I go and, and trying to learn. So I want to show you the technique as best I understand it. Uh, we're going to start with a couple uh, of these fence foundations and make sure you're snapping on top and not in front of the foundation. Uh, and then some pillars. So I haven't worked out the design entirely yet, guys. That is something we are going to do once we have, uh, once I've shown you how to accomplish this look at the very least. So we'll go ahead and get that started. That is going to be at least a couple higher. So we're probably going to have a shape that leads us up like that. Now, to get the look we're looking for here, guys, you're going to want to try and get this inside out. Uh, so flip it. And you're going to want to get it inside out in the middle of the foundation. So pull to the snap point closest to the front. Uh, if you do it a different way, just make sure whatever you do, you do consistently. So I'll flip that 
And that's what you want to look like. So it looks like it's going straight into the wall, not sitting behind it. And if you come on this side, it is going straight into the wall. So that's easy enough. Y'all know how to do that. If you try and snap a, f a foundation to the top of this, no chance it doesn't work. So uh, this is the technique you have to use. And I think, I think for our design, we are actually going to go up one higher before we add in, whoops, before we add in the next row of fence foundations. So I'm going to put these up here. We'll see if we can get ourselves up there in an elegant way. Probably not. Yes. Okay. So uh, with that done, we're going to put a foundation down like that. And I'm actually, yeah, we'll, f we'll figure it out. Um, I want to make sure the key when you're doing this, guys, is making sure everything lines up the way that you had done it on the first floor. So I'm going to actually be snapping there. Yep. So when you're up here standing on the ceiling on the front, pull your snap point as close to you as possible, and it should once again look like that. So if we break these, that stays in place, and that's how you pull that trick off. All right, guys, that is the beginning of the look. I've been playing around with this for a bit, and I think I'm starting to get it the way I like it. So go ahead and, and snap these in. Make sure you're snapping them to the foundations, uh, and then... I mean, honestly, guys, this isn't a building tutorial. I just want to show you how I'm getting this look so you can recreate this look if you really want it in your world. Um, so we're going to do this part together, and then I, once I've shown you this, you should be able to recreate it as well as I can. It's going to be a challenge for me too, um, but I'm going to get in there and, and, and start building once I've shown you how to do this technique. So go ahead and, and build that up. For me, I'm going to actually expand. Uh, I'm going to put a section in the barn above there that goes up. Uh, I think it's going to look good. But for now, grab your uh, wooden walls. So you have a whole bunch of snap points now, guys. So the idea is to have it look inside out and to have it be directly in the middle of the foundation. Um, but whatever you do, just do it consistently. It doesn't matter if you do it exactly how I do it. If you have the, see, you could also place it right there and it would probably look fine. Um, but I want to try and get it lined up if I can in the middle of the foundation and that would be snapping, yeah, like that. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna actually go up to the next level before we start messing around with another row of that stuff. And I think guys, now you, you could try this either way. If you're not getting it to line up right, try moving the ceilings to the other side. All right, once you are up here, just slap down a couple more fence foundations. If you're having trouble, these can be flipped and you are probably gonna wanna play around with this because I seem to need to at every level to find the snap points I'm looking for. But we do want an inside out face and we want it to sit in the middle. So for me building these, these ceilings on the front, snapping those to it the regular way uh, and going from there seems to be the best bet. So we'll go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna hop up on Miss Clay here, beauty, and put two more of these up. And I think this is going to get us really close to where we need to be. Hop up there. I'm up. Beautiful. Perfect. Uh, and so we should be able to do the exact same deal uh, like that and like that. And up here we are going to be doing something a little different because this roof is going to taper. So go ahead and snap that like that. Always want it as close as you can to the middle of the foundation instead of on one side or the other. And I think these are the right building pieces. They are. Perfect. So, guys, that is the beginning of that. You can take these out and nothing bad will happen, assuming your game works like my game does. Beautiful. So, that is the beginning, guys. What I want to do is add in a middle section over the top. I might show you that when I accomplish it. Uh, and then once I got that, maybe I'll call that part one of the barn. And in a future episode uh, or off camera, I may go expand it that away. Let me go do some work. Uh, you guys take a break. Uh, once again, the support on this series has been incredible. So, uh, if you want to leave a like, go ahead and do it now. And uh, I got work to do. I will be back in just a minute. All right, guys. Moment of truth. We're back. Let me know what you think. I don't love it. I'm sure you guys think it's pretty good, but I don't know. There's something not quite balanced about it, and I don't know what it is. I really like how um, how the square for this middle section is, is is not lined up with the others. I think that looks awesome. I think either those those pillars above the roof line need to go or or that whole section in the middle needs to go one higher i thought about making it one wider and doing a three wide entrance but then you couldn't have a, a point on the top so i'm going to try out 
a couple quick ad adjustments and I'll bring you guys with me for these. Um, and then after this, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do, sorry, you have to do, so in this series, guys, I build in creative. I try not to use the fly command if I can ever avoid it. Uh, and I try to do things in a way that you guys could do them yourselves. So I think we want to be, is that the height I want to be at? No. I think we want to do something like that and we can climb on up there if we play our cards right. All right, perfect. So I'm thinking potentially this pillar comes out before I go. Mm, no, let's try it. Let's try taking it out. Now, the only problem with this is I'm not really going to be able to see what it looks like. Maybe I can see what it looks like from the back side. Okay, here, let's get over there. Oh, it's hard to say. Okay, we got to take these down so we can back up and get a good look at it. Take you out, take you out, and take you out. Perfect. We can always put them back if we need to. So, that helps, actually. That helps. The middle looks too wimpy. Do we want to try and go higher? Okay, well, we're going to make some changes on the fly. You guys will get a real feel for how I how I do this when you're when you're not here. Um, there we go. Okay, perfect. And we'll hop up that height again. Oops, how do I keep picking different ceilings? And how am I out of ladders? Do I have ladders? I think I have Adobe. Yes, I do. Only a couple, though. Okay, we got them. Beauty. Um, so this barn, guys, I think is going to be a multi-episode thing uh, because it is not nearly done. And I think there's a lot of work to do, and I don't want to give you guys another marathon of an episode. So I think this will be the last segment. I'll give you an idea of what I'm thinking before we leave it. And um, we're going to try something different up here. So we're going to take out that and that. And I did windows up here. I'm still not sure what I think. But I think we're going to try. I think we're going to do windows again or do we want to try a door let's try doors up top uh we'll go ahead and put the little corner pieces in and then we're going to back up and see what this looks like i don't know if it's going to be any good we'll find out in a minute i'll put these off the back just for symmetry's sake and you could totally hang if you wanted to just to try and complete the look can I do it from over here? I can probably do it from over here. You could totally do this. And you'll get a much better idea of what this place is going to look like here. Let's go and do... Oh, the other side. <laughs> here, why don't, I, why don't I not risk falling off and just do that instead? That seems like a much wiser choice, don't you think? Okay, except I need to get further back. All right, there we go. And, oh, I didn't do these inside out. And I don't have enough to do them all inside out. So we'll see what that looks like. But take out our scaffolding. This is just like Minecraft when you had to pillar up. We'll take that out. And I'm using a program called Arc Commander. People ask about that, guys. It is a program for spawning in resources. Now I hate it. <laughs> I hate it most now. I think I got to go back to the way it used to be. I think I got to take it down one level. Leave those corner pillars off. Oh, dang it. You know the worst thing is, you know what it needs? That middle section needs to be three wide. I think. I totally see it now. So, you know what? There will be one more segment, guys. So why don't you leave me be? What I'm going to do is take down the entire right side of this build, which I'm not excited for, but one of the benefits of playing in creative, the resources don't matter to me. Uh, I'm going to take down the whole right side. I'm going to expand the middle by one. I'm going to put the right side up over here, and we're going to make this middle section um, three wide. All right, I'm gonna do it off camera because this is a long one, guys. Uh, enjoy another break if it's time, and, and if not, I'll be right back. All right, guys, this thing has been a bunch of work, and I think it's gonna be a bunch more to get it right. Uh, I do like the, the balance of the build so much better with the three wide center section. I think it's definitely gonna work for us, but the problem is I hate that roof. I hate the way that looks right now. So either I adjust the design a little bit and I haven't quite figured out how to do that or um, or yeah, I'm gonna or I live with it, I guess. All right, guys, you're gonna have to tell me what you think. I have been messing around with this. I keep making it slightly better than slightly worse than slightly better. 
I think that is the best iteration. I wanted the pointed roof on top, but a barn rarely actually has a true point on the top and I think that looks good. It took me so many tries to get the balance right guys, but I think that's what we're going to go with uh, for the facade of this. And that is all we're going to get done this episode. This is Building Evolved Episode 4. Stay tuned for Episode 5. If you are brand new to this series, subscribe. I'm going to be doing more of this creative building series. and. Um, Keep it up with the likes, guys. I hope uh, this helps you and uh, and you pick up a few tricks along the way. Uh, we have lots more to come in this series. We need to decorate and build on this entire island. Uh, but for next episode, we will continue the barn. We will do the walls, the roof, and then we may mess around with the interior. I'm excited for it, and um, I hope you guys are too. So that does it for this episode of Ark. Building Evolved. My name is Unite the Clans. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you geeks in the next episode. Bye bye.